So Your Excellency, uh, we are doing this uh, interview for the Golden uh, Jubilee celebration of the Collegio. First, I would like to ask you, uh, in what year did you reside here and uh, where did you study and what course did you took up? I was here in 1963 up to 1965 and uh, that was the uh, probably second batch of the Collegio Filipino. And, uh, I went to the Angelico, or to the University of Santo Thomas, St. Thomas here in Urbe, as you would say, and uh, I uh, took uh, my doctorate in, um, well, I took it in, uh, in ecclesiology, and uh, I, I made my thesis on, um, on that uh, subject, particularly on the census fidelium in the church, which was at that time a very, very uh, uh, kind of controversial topic at that time. Of course, it was uh, it was recognized and clarified by uh, by uh, Vatican II, and it was a uh, it was a worth a, a subject worth studying and working on. And um, of course, uh, times were different then. It, they were changing times and uh, theology was developing and uh, it was very interesting to see the trend and uh, the, the, new, the, I'll call the new thinking particularly of the council fathers at that time. I was here, I was fortunate to be here during the, during the second session of the Vatican Council. So your, your fond memories of the Collegio, of your stay here at the Collegio? Yes. Uh, uh, talking about fond memories, uh, I would say that uh, it, was, it was such a joy to see the transition of, uh, from, from Vatican I to Vatican II. And of course the tensions also were there. Now, um, fond memories of Rome, uh, I, uh, I have grateful, grateful memories of the Collegio Filipino, particularly with uh, Father Reginald Arlis, who later on became bishop. You know? He became bishop of, um, uh, I think, uh, in um, where Bishop Gutierrez is now. And um, Father Cavana, our spiritual director, and Father Morelos, who became Archbishop <coughs> of Sambanga later on. And uh, Father um, um, Alfred Rodriguez, uh, who is now uh, retired, a retired priest in the Archdiocese of Manila. Talking about fond memories, uh, as I said earlier, they were we were we were product of the times, and uh, there was a certain a certain uh, uh, flavor, I would say to uh, our stay here. It was a very colorful stay. I remember we were still wearing uniforms at that time. We were wearing the, uh, the blue sash with the, with the red lining and the, what we call the soprana. Uh, it was a kind of a, an outer garment with, with a blue, with a blue, uh, a, a blue streak of uh, something there. And uh, Going to school then was very colorful. Every college had its own, uh, every nationality had its own color. The Spaniards were, had the blue, and the Brazilians were green, the Germans were red, the American college was light blue, I remember that, and so forth. Um, there was a certain, um, a certain, I would call, Romanita during that time, which of course uh, uh, was, oh, was phased out after Vatican II. If there is anything that I would like to say to uh, our, um, uh, our students right now at the Collegio and uh, pursuing graduate studies, I uh, like to say that uh, I admire them <coughs> for their generosity of their time. And, there's, and the sacrifice that they are taking, 
I know it's not easy. Uh, we ourselves went through it. And uh, we went through times when uh, we did not have the technology that you have. No? And we were doing our, our doctoral thesis in, with uh, the manual typewriters at the time. And um, I'd like to say uh, to the um, students of the college right now, we um, we commend and praise them for their efforts, their sacrifices, particularly for their determination. The determination to pursue something which they know will be helpful, not only to their diocese, but to the Philippines, you know. And uh, not to be discouraged by uh, the difficulties sometimes of, uh, of language and uh, the exigencies of culture, but uh, uh, they can, they, it's very nice for them to <coughs> experience the universality of the church. One thing I'd like to say is that uh, probably many things that they're, that they, that, uh, they're taking now in the, in the different universities and institutes in Rome, probably they can read those things too or get to know them from books or from other sources, but it's the exposure in Rome exposure to the universality of the church that is so important that I think um, makes the, uh, the existence of the Collegio very, very uh, relevant still in our times. But I'd like to commend our student priests. They're wonderful and very prayerful. And uh, I must say, uh, comparisons are odious, you know, but uh, I'd like to commend uh, the present uh, generation of priests here they have a certain degree of, uh, uh, well, they know their vision. They have a vision to what they're going to do. And, uh, and attach that vision and together with that vision is a, a certain holiness of life. And I commend all of them. And lastly, your message for the Golden Jubilee of uh, the Collegia. Well, my, my uh, message would be something like this. Memories are important, you know, and good memories are very good, not only for, uh, for, uh, uh, to, uh, for the spiritual life, but memories, good memories are good to share, especially for the growth, for the growth of the Collegio and uh, of the Philippine Church. And so I, uh, <coughs> I would like to urge <coughs> and encourage all alumni of the different times, uh, the different stages of the Collegio to uh, consider um, saving up and coming to Rome for the uh, celebration. It would be a very beautiful uh, time.